Hello guys, welcome back to the bench. And today we're gonna go over Hobby Mio, their new lineup of paints. Um, I say new, I believe it's less than a year. We've only had them a couple months here in America. And um, I believe they were widely available, I think October, November of last year. So they're uh, very new to the market, in particular to the American market. And um, they're a lacquer solvent, but I believe they're an acrylic lacquer from what I could find out. Now, we still have the old flame logo here, so it is a solvent. Um, I'm saying that because um, very low smell, very impressed by the smell of these. And um, I'm not quite sure why. They don't smell like any lacquer. And um, they didn't really stink the room up that much. I mean, there's a smell, but it's not like... Uh, not like a burn your nostril smell. So uh, I am impressed with that. Uh, there's a lot of colors to choose from, and they're all in these different ranges. I just picked a variety of a few. Uh, for the video, I'm only going to spray maybe on camera four. Uh, I'll pick four of them uh, just to show. We want to see the performance. Color-wise, I sprayed most of these off camera, so I'll show you the results. But to show all of them, uh, it's kind of fruitless because there's just so many colors in the lineup. I mean, a primer is a primer, so I tested one primer off camera to check the performance of the, the primer. I don't need to do all of them. We just want to see how they go. Uh, I also got some clear. This is a clear. This is a flat matte. Clear red. These are all in order number. You'll see the numbers as they're going up. Clear green. Some come in a larger bottle. Some come in these smaller bottles. Mecca white. Mecca black. Mecca orange. Really nice color there. Deep stainless steel, real nice. Detail metal color, metal red, metal blue. I believe when they, they're saying metal, but it's a metallic. You can see the nice sheen they have. Metal green, metal turquoise, a favorite of mine. Metal sapphire blue. Let's see the difference here. Oh, not much. Oh, it's a little lighter. I can see it there, right there. These are the primers. We'll pull these out. Sorry, guys, bumping the camera. This is gray surfacer. And believe it or not, 203 is gray surfacer, but I think it's one's a little lighter than the other. It's hard to see there on camera. And then we have uh, Black Surfacer Evo. I think they took the name from, uh, <laughs> from Gaia, right? Uh, White Surfacer Evo. Now these are, this is Evo, yeah, they're all the same, but these say NB. Do you guys know what that means out there? Let me know. You have an NB on this, and an NB on this, and either of the grays don't have that. But let me show you something. Here's my uh, Gaia Notes Surfacer Evo. It's like the... <laughs> It's almost like they, they took the name, you know, I, I thought it was an uh, exclusive name to Gaia because up to this point, it's the only time I've seen it, but it looks like uh, they're using the same name. So there's the primers. Put these back in order. Pardon my arm blocking the camera, guys. We're trying to keep this neat. And the last two on the end, stop with that camera, are uh, Metal Violet. I'm not sure what the lineup is. This is like a black, uh, they're calling these a black metal, both of them. Um, not the uh, genre of heavy metal. Here we go. So it's a violet metal. You can see all the pigments have settled at the bottom there in the black. Really, really nice. Um, I hope these turn out well. Now, I know I'm going to tell you guys right now, you got to shake the hell out of these things. Now, you got to use my, uh, my portable shake. My uh, Hold on, let me grab it. Oh, this thing is heavy. You got to use the old uh, 4E shaker, and you got to really, really shake these things well. Um, and I personally would replace or add. It comes with four little beads in the bottom. Let me pause the camera. Let me show you what's in the bottom of the jars. All right, guys. Here is what's in the bottom. This is their empty jars that they sell. See, it's this plastic. They call it a glass bead, but it's plastic. I think it's too light to really shake up these heavier pigments. Um, it's kind of heavy, but you know, not to the point. So I would add one of those in if I were you. Now also, when you order a bunch of these, I think they send you one of these with all of them. 
Here's the replaceable caps. Now these caps go over and take the place of these. So you can just, you know, and they have a nice spout that keeps the paint from dripping down. These are very nice. Um, I will show you one of those in the video here once we get going. But I do recommend putting in a heavier shaker. These were like, it's not even 10 bucks. I got like a hundred, at least a hundred. So these, these last me quite a while. Uh, so you get a lot of use out of them. All right. Well, uh, now I want to show you guys what uh, I'm talking about on the cap here. All right. So we're going to open this up. All right. That's how they come. Can you see the seal? And you grab these two here. Let's get a paper towel. All right. And you just pull her out. Yep. Yeah. And um, I was using my droppers, and I had forgotten halfway through when I was working behind the scenes that they come with these. So what you're going to do is you're just going to go ahead and lock that in. See it? And also, while we're at it, let's take that off. Drop one in. There we go. Now you can hear it going. You can keep these. I really do like these stoppers. I was putting them on and off uh, while I was uh, testing these, and no, nothing drips off them. Nothing ends up on the edge of the, of the jar. Really, really, uh, uh, whoever came up with that, really good system. Uh, if you guys don't use these squeeze tops, um, these porous spot spigots there. So, um, really good idea. I do like that. So it doesn't bother me so much that it didn't even come with these, that uh, if it didn't come with those. Anyway, one more thing I need to explain to you guys, and that is I had trouble with some of the colors. The heavier metallics was spitting through the airbrush. No matter what I did, I had to strain some of these. I left some of the results to show you guys. Unfortunately, I ran out of strainers, and uh, I have to order some more. Uh, and there it is. See it? You can see it sticking right there. There's a spot right there. And, it, and I was spraying one of the colors, and here's one of the... That was stuck inside the cup of the airbrush here. And that wasn't just a, a paint. That was an actual, like a paint chip. Uh, I'll call it a paint chip. But you can see it. See all the pieces right there? You really have to shake these down. You can see all the speckles in the bottom there. So I recommend uh, strainers. They're dirt cheap. Um, you can get them anywhere on Amazon. They're little paint strainers. They're little, you just strain it into your cup before you use it. and uh, Or you can lay it over your cup of your airbrush. And strain it directly into the airbrush you could do that too or you could pour it out and pour it back in once you strain it once i think you're not going to have a problem all right for the test we're going to go with my uh harder and steinbeck evolution this is what i'm going to use for the test um i am going to test this orange i'm going to test uh this deep stainless steel Don't, uh, you know as i want to see this turquoise just so you guys know i i sprayed a, a bunch of these off camera so you, you, you're going to see uh all the colors but we just want i just want to show you their performance you know, and how uh, how well they go on. And um, that's it. They don't need thinning. We're just going to shake them up. And uh, you'll know when it's shaken up. You can see on the bottom. There it is. You see the paint? You can see the paint right through it. I favor this side of the camera because uh, I'm sitting on this side of the camera. And uh, that's it. Once you get it shaken up, and this one in particular, I guess we'll just drop it right in. And um, We'll go from there. We're going to show you. Okay, we're going to paint uh, some of these metal colors on some black. So I got some nice shaped pieces here that we're going to paint the metal colors on. And then we'll try some on some gumpla pieces and a spoon, of course. And then uh, at the end here, we'll go over the results. All right, so let me get these shaken up. Uh, we're going to spray this at just under uh, 20 PSI. I think we'll go 18 PSI. Um, and this is the 0.2 needle. This is the 0.2, I think. And, no, it might be a point three. I got to see what needle I'm using. Anyway, we're going to go at 18 psi, and um, that's it. Straight out of the bottle into the brush. Let's head over to the booth now, and uh, we're going to show you these paints. All right, guys, here we go. Back at the booth. Let's see how these spouts work. Let's try some. I haven't tried them yet. Oh, good control. Yep, it leaves really good control. It does spill a little bit, but not... Uh, Boy, not like I'm used to. Let me put my airbrush down. Get this out of the way. All right. Here we go. 
All right, let's see what we got. Let's try it with a little gumpla piece first. I got the fan turned down so you guys can hear me this time. Look at how nice and even it goes on. It just it goes on so well. The airbrush is perfect for this. Let me see if I can zoom in so you guys can see a little better. Well, you'll see it at the bench, but look at how even it goes on. Really nice. Hold on, guys. Let me get that out of the way. Let's try it over the proverbial spoon. Beautiful color. I'm adding a color like this to my own lineup. I, I just love this yellowy orange. Oh, that's nice. All right, let's see. What else can we try it on? Let's try it on something dark. Let's try this. Let's try this plastic plate. I have no idea what's going to happen here. Let's see what we get. We put the fan on for this. It's a little heavier. I did have a fan on. I had my secondary fan on. I'm just trying to see what the coverage is like over black, you know? Covers well. Not the biggest needle, you know, to do this job. I'll cover half the spoon here. Let's see what we get. Oh, it covers nice. Yeah, it covers really nice. Fantastic. All right. Let me clean out the brush. We're going to clean it out with uh, straight lacquer thinner and some acetone uh, right from the hardware store. It cleans out really easy. I'll flush it out. I'll come back with the next color. All right, guys. I'm going to show you uh, the cap. I just put some in here. Here's the cap. See it? You hold it with the two. It goes right in nice and clean so if you don't use those squeeze caps uh, just the way it comes is fine this is deep stainless steel we'll try it on this uh, torpedo piece this looks best over a black base I'll show it over white but uh, it really looks good over black It's going to be hard to see, but it is nice looking. It's hard to see at the booth. I'll show you at the bench. It'll look... It just looks spectacular. This is a really, really nice paint. I mean, there it is, the black. See it? Let me get that out of the way. Now we'll try it over some white. This will take a few coats, for sure. You're going to get a completely different effect. So let's try this. There we go. We're going to try this over uh, some gray, too. What I'll do is I'll spray half the spoon. There we go. It atomizes really well. It goes on really good. Um, no complaints other than I believe it has to be strained. Any of the metallics I think you should strain. Uh, I got this gun here. We're going to uh, 
put my clip. There we go. And this is a brand that seems to really come into its own once it's dry. Once it dries, it almost looks like a whole different thing. Sorry, these skinny ones are hard to see on camera. Oh, it looks awesome. It looks great. Let's see if I can, see if it goes on a black spoon. I, maybe you can probably see it a little better. I'm trying to leave a little bit of the black exposed. Kind of shows it off really good once it's dry. All right, we'll go with that. See it? Half and half. All right, guys. I'm going to go put these in the humidifier, a dehumidifier, a dehydrator, I should say. Um, 122 degrees, five minutes. They dry perfectly. Let me clean this out. We'll do another color. All right, guys. Up next, 127 metal turquoise. Just the sound of that is awesome. Uh, I really, really like these. Uh, uh, behind the scenes, I've been testing these. Uh, I told you guys I've been testing these. And it's these metal colors that really, really do it for me. I, I think they're really nice. Oh, wait till you see it under the lights. It doesn't do it justice until I show it to you uh, once it's dried. It has a whole, it, has, it comes into its look once it's dry, you know? over this big black spoon here so you guys can really see the color at the bench look how nice it covers it doesn't run it's just a beautiful color beautiful paint very impressed Put it over. Um, let's go again with that half gray spoon. That works good. There we go. Fantastic. Oh, man. Great. Wait till you see it when it's dry. All right, let me grab another color here, and then we'll uh, wrap it up. And we'll, oop, sorry, guys. And then we'll show you the results. All right, guys. Let's go on and try this metal sapphire blue. Again, we'll do it on this uh, fuel tank. Hard to see. Well, uh, yeah, there you go. Right? Oh, man, this is awesome. That's all it needs, actually. I was about to put more on there, and it don't need it. Now, I'm going to guess this is going to look decent over the white. This isn't a really deep blue. The sapphire is a little on the lighter side. But it dries so smooth and uh, tight to the surface that it really is uh, really is nice. Spectacular, excellent. I don't know what else I have enough here for. Uh, 
Well, that was over white, right? Over gray, maybe? Let's try it over gray. Good color for a car. Let's see if we can get half a spoon, the black spoon down, let's see. Excellent. Oh man, this is awesome. This is great, great color. All right, guys, let me clean this out. I got a whole bunch of them already sprayed, so I'll meet you back at the bench and we'll compare the colors. All right, guys, here we go. We'll go over the ones I just sprayed, but you want to stick around because I'm going to show you the other colors um, right after we go over these. The orange, Mecca orange, very smooth, uh, super durable. I've been testing the durability, so if you guys are wondering, it, I mean, it's not even leaving little marks. When, a lot of times you get to see a little light mark where your fingernail is. This leaves nothing. Now, it's not a gloss. There it is over the black. It's not a gloss. Most of the Mecca colors usually come out this semi-gloss. But it's a very nice, smooth, smooth uh, semi-gloss color. Not quite dead matte. But look how nice it covered the piece. You know, it is durable. Uh, 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 very good. Very good. We're off to a good start here. All right. Look at this uh, deep stainless steel. You can see it. I didn't quite cover it all the way. I don't think on this one, did I? Look at that. Check this out on the the bomb, uh, the fuel tank piece. Isn't that awesome? I mean, there's the black plastic it went over, and there's the piece. I mean, you can see it against black right here. See it? Look at that. And I told you, you're not going to see the the flakes of it that you see when you're spraying it, it comes out to this smooth looking metal. I don't even know if you can buff it. I mean, it's pretty durable. You could probably buff it right up, but it doesn't really need it. Look at that. This is it over white. It's a completely different color. It's almost like a tinting. Um, here it is over the gun. Check this out. Look at that. I mean, that's spectacular. A really nice. I mean, there is the black. And there it is with the plating on it. Look at that. That was deep stainless steel. Here it is over the, right off the runner, the piece. So, <laughs> we are off and running. These are great paints. Look at this, 128 metal sapphire blue. Look at that. I mean, look at that. You know I love these colors, my uh, color set back here. My anodized aluminum, you know I like that look. You know, that's why I started with that color. And they really captured it well here. Here it is over the black spoon. Look at the reflection. It's just a touch of blue there. Here it is over the white or the off-white gumpla piece. Look at this. And I did over the matte. This is a matte gray primer. And you can see the difference. It's not quite as shiny. It looks a little better on camera. But you can see the difference over the black. How it's a completely different looking paint spectacular really really I love this kind of stuff here is the uh, neat uh, metal turquoise that's it over the black plastic you can see the plastic there ready look at that look at that that's over the black spoon almost the same a little different in the shading that's it over gray primer and this is over the white uh, Gumpla piece. Look how nice it covered once again. Look at that. It just, it covers good. It doesn't scratch. Uh, really impressed. Really impressed. All right, guys. Let's pick out a color here. Show you what I did. Some other ones. 124. Now, I didn't have this in the lineup because it was still drying in the dehydrator. And I keep the numbers next to it so I know which is which. That's why I didn't show this. But look at this. Look at that. Metal Violet. 124 and I for a black plastic I use this black propeller from that same model get this out of the way look at that is that awesome <laughs> it looks like it's plated uh, metal right up my alley I mean this is exactly the kind of colors I absolutely love
oval white, completely different. Oval chrome, almost like a transparent. Is it? I mean, it has a transparent to it because that's how you're going to get this look over the black, you know. And this is over a gray. Again, I do the half so you can see it. That is Metal Violet 124. Let's see what else we have here. 123, Metal Green. Go with the black piece first. Look at that. There we go. <laughs> You can't go wrong. This is the lineup. It's my favorite of the lineup, these metal colors that they do. I mean, come on. There's your Dynamesk color right there. Over the black spoon. Over that dark gray plastic gun. Look at that. Over chrome. Over white. All right, we're moving right along here, guys. Let me reach for another color. Lots of stuff here, guys. Lots of stuff. 122. Hey, we're going in reverse. Metal blue. Look at that. A little darker than the other one, for sure. Yeah. It's so smooth. It covers so nice, you know. You get the rest of the pieces here. Let's try it over that fuel tank. Look at that. This is over an, uh, I think this is just a matte aluminum right here. That's why I left it halfway so you guys can see it. See? Over white. This is one of the best colors. Over chrome, yeah, I took these chrome uh, plastic knives. Look at that. It almost it came like a matte finish. Can you see it? Look at that. Oh man, I am blown away by these. So that was uh, 122 metal blue. All right. Here are all the clears. This is clear green, clear blue green. All right. That's it over the a chrome spoon. It's kind of a dull finish to it, but I kind of like it. You know, it's it's not it's not saying it's candy. It's saying it's clear blue, clear blue green, which is a unique color, by the way. That's it over white. That's it over. I think this is gray. All right. Next one. Clear red. That's over chrome. Chrome. This is over uh, TS100. This is a dark uh, metallic gray from Tamiya, the spray paint. This is a dark bronze, I think. Metallic brown, I think, from, Mattia, from uh, Tamiya. And this is just over a white spoon. All right, get moving on. This is 121. This is metallic red. Oh, metal red, not metallic red. Metal red. Let's. There you go. Here it is. Over. This is a black rudder, I guess, from a, from these same aircraft kit. Look at that. I kept this spoon. I wanted to show you guys. This is one of the ones I was getting the trouble. See the metal, the bits coming through. This is what you have to strain. And then once I strained it, I got a nice straight. And then was my last strainer, unfortunately. And this is it over a pearl white. See it? It's a pearl white. Look at that. Again, though, nice colors. The, the whole metal lineup is really, really nice. All right. Let me grab another one. Let's keep going. 302. That's over here. That is metallic black. Start with the old fuel tank bomb here. Look at that, huh? Now, that's black. There's the black it's sprayed over. And there it is. 
you could see the difference here against the spoon. And then I sprayed the spoon. Look at that. It's like a plated, very subtle plated look. And this is it over the white spoon. You could see the stuff that was coming through. This is when uh, I was having the trouble, but I couldn't do anything because I ran out of strainers at that point. 302. All right. What do we have here? 105. Dark metal color. Oh, detail metal color. This is almost like a chrome. I, I really like this. Check that out. It's almost like a bluing metal color. But here it is over that bomb. I mean, uh, the fuel tank from the plane. Look at that. There it is, just the black. Here we go. Look at that. Super, super colors. Let me grab another one. Here are the clear coats. Check this out. This is the clear. Glazened, it's called. Glass Cla glazened? What a weird name. This is over dead flat black paint. Let me show you. It's basically a primer. And then I sprayed it over it. Look at that. All right. And this is it over a matte blue. This was a dull metallic blue. And this is it over, uh, I think it's a Tamiya X33. And it was kind of dull looking. So that's the gloss. Not bad. Hold on. I got the mat right here. The mat came out really good over the straight plastic. I took this off the sprue and just sprayed it. And look at it. It's a nice satin. Can you see it? It's a really, really nice finish. The, the, I like this mat better than the gloss. It's just, it's exactly the dead looking Matt, I, I'm looking for. So, 12, 012 flat matte, really good. This was a very glossy red, and it uh, dulled it out to nothing. I mean, this was really glossy. This is over a black spoon, straight up, a shiny spoon. Look how dull it made it. This was a gloss black base. It brought it down to that. And this was a super shiny, this is one of my colors I'm working on. Uh, slimy green it was blindingly shiny and this is just completely dull now so but it's really good over straight plastic i'll give them that that's really good all right let me grab another color all right guys we're getting there we're getting there this is 52 let's see what that is oh here we go mecca black check this out it's this purplish black, which is really what Mecca Black is. It's it's a it's a off black color, but it's really really durable. It's super shiny. You can feel how durable it is. I mean, I'm really marking on it, and it's leaving nothing behind. So, um, uh, this is a, over a straight Gumpla piece. Uh, if you're gonna build a kit uh, with a base of this. I don't think you're going to have any problems. You can see how it comes out dull over, this is over a primer. And see how it came out dull, but it's still durable. It's still smooth as silk. So, really good. Now, it's not black. It's not a black. You can see it's a smoky gray black. But still, great results. 301. Oops. Metal Violet. 301. I had to label them so I couldn't get them confused. Check this out. Look at this. It's that, again, it's that beautiful metal plating look. I absolutely love it. And this is it over white. But this is the look. It's got to go over black. This is the exact look you want with this stuff. A beautiful tinted dark purple color. Fantastic. Let me grab another color. One oh five. This is oh the detail metal color. I already did this one. <laughs> Here it is again. Hold on, guys. One second. All right, guys. Wasn't exactly a color left. I had a primer. I wanted to try one of the primers. You know, I figured they're all going to perform. 
the same. Um, going on, I was like, ah, it, it didn't look right. And then it dried spectacular. I mean, it's like, it's, it's as good as uh, Mr. Surfacer, which is a great airbrush. That's over white. This is over the that black same piece. That's over the black spoon. Can you see how nice and it? I mean, it's smooth. Here it is on the rudder. That's black. It went over it in one coat. So big thumbs up. Also on the primers. So I, I with this primer will be the last. I'm showing you guys. I sprayed everything. This. Uh, I wholeheartedly give a thumbs up. I endorse this lineup. It's really good paint. You got to strain it. Personally, I would get some strainers. And uh, you got to strain some of the flakes out. I don't know why some of them had. Some of them didn't. I showed you on the, some of the spoons what it looked like. And um, other than that, performance-wise, it's up there. It's, it's really good performing stuff, particularly these metal color ones. Um, these are just spectacular to me. I just love these kind of colors. And... Uh, particularly over black they just look great but uh, yeah uh, I endorse them I, I really like them uh, they're available at Robot Kai uh, it's a nice size bottle you're probably gonna get the squeeze tops either way I like the way it even comes with the little cap so I wouldn't worry too much about the squeeze bottle but if that's the way you guys want to go they're gonna give them to you anyway and um, that's it I use this for everything it performed fantastic I'll put a link below for the the Harden and Steinbeck Evolution airbrush. It really, really was spectacular. And it uh, really performed well with all these. And um, I endorse them. I like them. I would go grab them. If I were you guys, I do like them. And uh, any questions uh, in the comments, you can ask below. Anyway, thanks, guys. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. It helps a lot with the video. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. A lot more to go. Um, I got some brand new paints in from Italy. I'm trying to reach for them. It's these acrylic. Uh, see them? Custom, ser uh, custom Service. That's the name of the company. And I got a whole bunch of these. These are acrylics. So I'm hoping for a good acrylic, good performer. And uh, I did just get those in. Uh, other good news on my front. Within a week, I will have at least 20 new colors to show you guys in a plated, polished steel color I got coming in. Should be in this week. Hopefully my next video will be demoing my new paint lineup and uh, we're pretty excited about that and they'll be live as soon as I uh, put the video up so you guys can purchase those uh, my anodized aluminums are back in stock if you guys were looking for those I know they were out for a while we sold a bunch of them but they're back in stock and towards the rest middle to end of the week we're gonna have a whole new lineup of paints to show you uh, from my Mecca Empire lineup anyway guys thanks for sticking around I hope you enjoyed the video the paints are fantastic and uh, You'll be happy with them. You, you, you will be happy with them, particularly these metal ones. Uh, anyway, guys, have a great weekend, and I will see you very soon in the next video.